Hello and welcome to Yoga with Glenn. I'm Glenn. This is Suki. Today I have a nice restorative flow to welcome in the fall season. Please hop in some very comfy clothes. Maybe they're fall colored. Hop on your mat. Please, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It truly helps out a lot and I really appreciate it. Let's get started. To begin, let's assemble our props. Since this is restorative, I recommend you grab as many props as you need or want to have. A blanket for some comfort, a bolster, or pillows to lay on, blocks if you have them and want to use them. If you do have blocks and want to use them, I recommend propping up this bolster a little bit. But we're going to sit on our blanket or on our mat for some comfort. Go into a reclined butterfly. If you'd like to kind of recline your bolster or pillows up a little bit more than this, you may do so. But let your chest and your heart space open. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Let the knees spread out wide. If you'd like to adjust your shoulders, bring your shoulder blades in just a little bit more just to open up that heart space even more. Of course, you may do so or do anything you need to to make yourself absolutely comfortable. And while we're here, this gives us a good chance to really ground into our space and we can establish our breath. There's no breath work or pranayama required for restorative, but it's always good to establish a breath. So with an exhale, let everything go. Really pull the belly button in towards the stomach, squeezing all the air out. And then with an inhale, fill the belly. Push the belly button out and exhale. Pull that belly button in. And this really forces air in, really forces air out to get a full breath. And when you're ready again, exhale. Force all the air out and with an inhale, feel the belly and now move up to the ribs. Feel the ribs expand outward and exhale, ribs, belly, exhaling all the air out. And when you're ready again, with an exhale, forcing everything out, inhale, feel the belly. Feel the ribs expand and then move the air up to the chest. Feel the chest lift up towards the chin. And exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Letting everything go. Practice this breath on your own and you'll find the deeper breath you have, the more you'll sink in to whatever posture, whatever position your body is in. You may find that if your legs are tight, your legs might have started maybe a little more of a 45 degree angle and by this time they're opening up just a little bit more. So if you're still struggling with this, there's little movements you can do to this posture, you can scoot the feet further away from you. This helps open up the hips, lets the knees move closer to the ground. Or if you like, you can move the heels really close in or just find a nice middle ground. As you're laying here, letting yourself open up Just imagine you're opening up yourself to the new season. Summer is ending. Fall is beginning. So another cycle of seasons, another year passes. There's a good chance to open yourself up to it, whether you're ready or not. 
all is upon us. Another couple of breaths just to reflect. If you need to make any adjustments, do so. After your next exhale, on your inhale, begin to slowly move the hands down by the knees. Go ahead and gather the knees with your hands slowly. Bring the knees up towards the top, bring them to touch, bring the soles of the feet on the ground. Now very slowly, you can move yourself off of your prop. Just roll over to the side. And if you'd like to use a block or you'd like to use your seam prop, go ahead and put yourself on your back. Move the blanket from underneath you if you had one. But bring either a block or a bolster like this underneath this triangle sort of of your knees here. And if you're not quite able to, you can have your prop off to the side, but when you're ready, go ahead and press yourself up into a bridge pose. Slide the prop underneath just the very small of your back where the spine meets the hips. Whether that's a block, whether that's a bolster like I have, another chance to really open the heart space for one but now you're feeling the support feeling grounded into the earth and then breathe the same cycle of breath belly ribs chest Good time to think, do I feel grounded? Do I feel supported? Is there anything I can change either in this posture or anywhere else to improve grounding and support? couple breaths to go in this posture. If you still would like to make any adjustments, make yourself more comfortable, feel free to do so. After your next exhale, and as you inhale, make sure the soles of the feet are flat on the earth. Prepare yourself to lift the hips off of your prop, off of your support. 
And with an inhale, do so. Gently lift. Remove your prop and set it off to the side as you slowly release the hips back to the earth. And grab the knees, adjust the shoulders if you need to, but float the feet off the ground, bring the knees together. And while grabbing the knees, sort of like joysticks, if you will, go ahead and massage the low back into the mat, into the earth. Make circles, make figure eights, up and down, side to side. And with your, when you're satisfied with that, place the soles of the feet on the ground. Scoot the hips over to one side and roll over on your side. Using your arm as support, since we've been on our back for quite some time now, just give ourselves a chance, give our nervous system a chance to catch up. You don't want to sit up straight away and get lightheaded. When you're ready, go ahead and press yourself up to a seat facing forward on your mat. Go ahead and walk the hips back, feet straight up and down, legs together. And grab either a bolster, a pillow, or a blanket, whatever you need. Fold it up and place it in this crease of the torso and the legs. And with an inhale, the arms come up. And then exhale, folding over our prop. And if you need to, you can bend the legs ever so slightly just to make this posture a little bit more accessible. Let the chin rest down either on the prop or towards the chest. And as you sink into this posture, and breathe. Just with each breath, imagine just releasing, releasing the torso towards the thighs, releasing any tension, releasing stress, releasing nervousness. It's about anything. Maybe you're not ready for summer to end. Release any anxiety if you're waiting for fall and all the fall fun fall things. Just really release yourself. Feel the prop in between your thighs and torso. By now, you've taken several breaths. Maybe you found yourself, maybe you found you sink into this posture a little bit. Maybe you're able to either remove your prop, replace it with a smaller one, or remove it altogether, or even slide the heels forward ever so slightly. As we breathe, our body relaxes. That's why if you're struggling with any posture, the breath is something you can always come back to. You can always focus on it. Couple more breaths to go.
as we begin to exit this posture, feel how far you were able to release into yourself, how close to yourself you've gotten compared to where you started. Maybe you were able to straighten the legs all the way. Maybe you are able to remove the props altogether. Take note of wherever you are. Next time you do this posture, after an exhale, place the palms on the ground and slowly walk the palms towards the hips, pressing yourself up back to the seated position. Remove the props off to the side. Bring in the right leg towards the left hip. Bend the left knee, place the left sole of the foot on the ground. Ideally, the right knee would be close to the ground. If it comes up a little bit, that's okay. If this is all you can do, all where you are, that's okay too. But if you're able to bring this heel sort of around the outside of the hip and bring the left leg around the outside or left foot around the outside of the right leg, you may do so. If that's a little bit too intense, if you're not quite there, you can bring this left foot and just kind of leave it in the middle. Bring the right hand, hook the elbow around the outside of the left knee. And this is half Lord of the Fishes pose. Modified for me, of course, because I'm not on the outside of the leg, but that's okay. I can still get the desired effect of this stretch. If you'd like to do the classical version and open the palm, you can do so. Or if you just want to hook the elbow around the knee just to give yourself a little bit of twist. Don't force yourself too much. And this hand on the ground behind you is merely a kickstand. Try not to really put weight on it. And since this is a twist, we won't be here for nearly as long. But same rule with the breath applies. The longer you breathe, the more you focus on breathing, the more you sink into this posture and the easier it becomes. Go ahead and start to release your twist. Slowly bring yourself back around to the center. If you'd like to extend both legs just to give ourselves a little bit of reset, maybe bounce the knees off the mat. And when you're ready, we'll go into the opposite side. So bend the right knee, place the sole of the right foot on the ground, bending the left knee, the edge, the outer edge of the left ankle, outer edge of the left knee on the ground, ideally touching the ground. And if you're able to bring it over further so the knee is pointed straight out. And if you're able to on this side, bring the right foot on the outside of that knee. I encourage you to try it because you can be a little bit different side to side, but if you try it, you don't quite like it, and especially if one side is, or one hip is off the ground, and then we'll just be here in the middle, and that's okay too. So same thing, left elbow, wrap it around the outside of the right knee, and we're not really forcing a twist, but we're encouraging a twist, having our elbow here, and if you like to take the classical expression of half Lord of the Fishes and open the palm, towards the right side, or if you just want to hook that elbow on the knee. And again, this backhand, merely a kickstand. Try not to rely on it too much by putting all your weight on it. 
And just make sure you're breathing here in this posture. If anything is really tight, uncomfortable, your breath will carry you through. And after an exhale, as you inhale, begin to unwind after we've twisted away all of our tension, all of our stress, anxieties, whatever you may have had. Go ahead and scoot forward on your mat, soles of the feet still on the ground. Extend the arms out and then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, roll yourself onto your back. You may need to adjust yourself on your mat a little bit if you need to, but from here extend the legs out. Let the ankles relax. Open up the palms. Have some space between the arms and the side body as we prepare ourselves for our corpse pose, our Shavasana. If you'd like to gather any props for yourself, either under your knees, under your head, neck, or shoulders, wherever you see fit, and grab them now. Once you've assembled your props, let's begin to relax the body, all these I always start down by the feet, relaxing the toes. If that's difficult. I recommend sort of making fists with the toes, squeezing, and then relaxing. You can do that all the way up the body if you need to. Let the toes relax. Let the ankles relax. As we move up the leg, Feel the weight of the calves against the earth. Maybe we feel the air passing underneath the knees. Letting the thighs relax. Releasing the weight of our hips onto the earth. Feeling our belly Move up and down with each breath. Relaxing our shoulders, feeling the weight of the shoulders against the earth. Relaxing the upper arm, the lower arm. Imagine drawing a line up and down each finger of the hand as you relax the hand. You feel the air pass through the fingers. Relax the expression on the face if there is any. Feel the tongue fall back into the lower palate. Let the eyes roll back into their orbits. And imagine the brain sliding to the back of your skull. Nowhere left to go, nothing left to do. Just be at ease.
wherever you are, lost in thought. Release that thought and return to the breath. Gentle inhale, feel the belly rise. Easy exhale, feel the belly fall. I want you to bring awareness to the body. Start with the feet, the ankles, the hands, the wrists. And invite small movements. You squeeze the toes. Make fists. Roll the ankles. Roll the wrists. And invite those movements to grow. Just waking the body before we prepare ourselves to sit up. Now when you're ready, bend one knee and place the sole of the foot on the ground. Press off that foot and roll on to your side. Using your arm as a pillow, sort of in this fetal posture, stack the legs. Just give your nervous system a chance to catch up. A chance for the blood to Return back to the appropriate places. Now, whenever you're ready, and take as much time as you need. Press yourself up to an easy seated position. If you'd like to grab a prop to sit on, you can do so, just to raise the hips off the ground. Wherever, whenever you're ready, Join me in this Sukhasana. Cross at the ankles, tall spine, open heart, level chin, hands on the knees. Before we take our last breath together to close out this practice, just want to express gratitude and say thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you were able to relax and maybe prepare you for the fall season upon us. Now let's circle the arms up with an inhale. Touch the palms overhead and exhale. Bring the hands down to heart center. Thank you so much for watching. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.